have missed you so much. I was supposed to upload a video on Wednesday, obviously, right? Because I'm doing two videos a week this Ramadan, but I missed it. If you do follow me on Instagram, I mentioned that I have been going through it. I was so sick. Okay, first of all, let me just let me just like say I'm sick all the time. Every other month, I'm catching a flu, a fever here and there. Every other month, I'm sick. Either one, I have a very bad immune system, or two, it's just hasad. You know, it's just hasad. But this sick that I had caught this week, oh my god. Today is Friday. Okay, just to give you context, I was sick since Sunday. I couldn't move. I was dead. I literally felt like I was dying. SubhanAllah, oh my God. I don't really hate people, but if I really hated somebody, I would not wish upon them what I went through. I was sick Sunday, I was sick Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I couldn't get myself to go to the hospital because I couldn't move. I was home alone because obviously, like, you know, people travel, like no one to cook for you food. I, I was starving, I didn't eat. Like, I don't even know how to explain to you guys. I've never been sick like this, but Alhamdulillah, I went to the doctor on Wednesday. They put me on some strong antibiotic. It has done wonders because I took it Wednesday, Thursday, and today, alhamdulillah, a whole new person. I'm like, who is this? Um, so yeah, that's, that's the reason. I was completely shattered. So I couldn't upload or edit my video. Because I have an event today that I'm going for. It's an iftar event with a brand called Ilor. I was this close, this close to canceling and saying, no, I don't wanna go because I was just not feeling it. I was like, I'm sick, I need to prioritize myself. And then I was like, girl, you're going to suffocate if you stay in this house a minute longer alone. Go out, see your friends, see the girls, enjoy an iftar. And it's just something simple, like I don't have to use so much of my energy. So that's where we are and that's what we're doing and getting ready for. Alhamdulillah, like really, if you're in good health right now, thank God for your good health. But you know what? It was like also eye-opening and somebody comes through for you. You will never forget that person obviously wearing an abaya to the event i had so much stuff that i wanted to do today as well but then i was like how are you recovering take it slow you don't have to prove to anybody or neither yourself that you're a superwoman because i have that habit you know i'm a superwoman i can do anything i don't need nobody i can do everything on my own truly overdid myself juggling trying to like go for taraweh do my prayer read my quran while fasting also filming you two youtube videos editing those posting a new Instagram video every single day, posting a new TikTok video every single day on two different accounts. It was a lot. Anyways, I'm not complaining. I really am not complaining. I'm just like reflecting. I love reflecting over things. Like I go through something and I reflect. I go like, how could I have done better? How could I have communicated better? How could I have made the whole situation better? Etc. Etc. And I think it's such an important thing to do in life, reflecting over everything. You go through something hard, reflect upon it. You go through something really good and easy and it changes your life, reflect upon it. I'm rambling on too much, so I'm gonna finish this makeup on and we're gonna go, okay? Thinking the earrings are a bit too much, but maybe they aren't, you know? Maybe you just gotta go extra sometimes, do you know what I mean? I'm so annoyed, I went to wash my hands and then like dropped water all over here. I put a setting spray on my hijab. Only these things happen to me. But this is the final makeup look. I'm, I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. I really wanted to try these new Elia complexion sticks, but I was like, I'm going for an event. I don't want to try something and then it's my wrong shade. Should I put a gloss on top of this? Should I put like, because I put this brown, I feel like I want to like add this Huda Beauty gloss, but I did the gloss thing like last week on the other event. So I'm like, maybe not, maybe not, yeah. Okay, let me iron my abaya and show you guys. Here is the outfit. I am going to pin this like right here. I think the earrings are okay. I think I might keep them. I, I'm a bit concerned about the earrings being gold and the details of my abaya being silver. So maybe it's not a big deal, you know. I bought this on TikTok shop like last year at Ramadan and this is the first time that I'm wearing it. I think I might just pin this here. Oh, it's so embarrassing guys, my trousers are showing at the bottom. This also has like, a, like pockets, which makes it super cute. I think I might just like, I don't know. Should I change? I could not do those earrings. They were just too much. They were too much. They were clashing with the outfit. So I went to these, these ones, which I got in Kenya. Like they're so cute. It's like a nude, nudish white. So I feel like it matched 
with the nude vibes that I'm going for. Okay, I need to like leave in a bit to be honest. This delivery just came in. A whole box of like chocolate goodies. Your girl is recovering from an infection. This is not good. But we'll try them when I come back from the iftar. It'll be my oh, late late night snack. I'm happy with this earring, with these earrings. You know, tell me I did a good job on changing them. These are cute. These are cute. They're subtle. They're you know, mysterious girl. Those ones are a bit too loud. Who's she screaming at? We need to go. My handbag is packed. Just have my other camera in here. My lipstick, blotting paper, tissues. I, I sniff for no reason. So pack that in, and that's done. The same handbag. I carried last week. Actually, I should change it. I should wear my pollen. Let me wear my pollen. Yeah, this passes the vibe so much more because I carried this last week, you know? I'm like, not that I can't repeat. It's just like, we shouldn't repeat if we have another option. Alhamdulillah, you guys, like, I've had such a chill. Get ready with me. Let's go. such a chilly day today okay it's like 11 degrees just because i'm like you know recovering i kind of feel cold but i did layer up pretty well but i feel it on my nose you know like when you feel a cold on your face i hate it Guys, we're gonna read you guys the menu. Okay, the menu. We are hungry. Well, I'm hungry. I go at crab kebab. Ooh, that sounds good. Do you like some vegetarian samosas? Not me. Lamb kebabs as well. We have what is it? Uh, potatoes. We have butter chicken. <laughs> Lamb curry. And then with pilau and naan. Oh, this looks like a good menu. Yeah. I like spicy food, so we're good. Okay, hey guys, we have zam zam water with some dates and like a cute little chocolate. Okay, we're just putting everything ready. You know? <laughs> I just tried one, it's really nice. Take one. I'm okay, you know, it's time to eat. We're gonna have a little kebab. It's so loud. Oh my goodness. It's so loud. Right. Now we're gonna try a beef, <laughs> beef one. These are like the starters, by the way. Yeah, that's what I've learned recently. So much flavor. It's good. It's really nice, guys. Good. How are you? Do you like those? Yeah. yeah. They're nice, right? You don't like these. Why, baby? Oh, so I just had my second one. It's a bit too strong. Oh. I like fish like that. Bring them here, then. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. 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 It's not yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna eat you. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Thank you. You guys eat like a lot of fish in your dishes. Sabah brought me strawberry abuyu. We call it mabuyu in Kenya. Mabuyu. We are Tanzanians, call it ubuyu. Ubuyu. We're gonna try it. I really shouldn't be having this because I just came from a coma of sickness. But we're gonna do it. Do you like this? 
the meat to taste. Scrubbing my boots. It's there. The taste is there, right? It's fine. <laughs> I just got home y'all and it was such a fun cute little event met so many of the girls i mingled it was cute it was really nice we have a little goodie bag here which i thought we could quickly like unbox it my first time trying or even like owning any isla product but you know what let me just drop them all on the table so i can see what we have all at one go So it's quite a lot of lashes. Different ranges, I think, with the different packaging. There's some half lashes. Look at all of these designs. These look super wispy and curled. These are like extremely light and simple. I think these are a little bit of me. Okay, then we have nails. Um, I think two nails. Two nails? Yes, two nails. Like a cute little French tip one and a pinkish pinkish mauveish purplish kind of shade individual lashes another volume and curl and then we have sticky tabs you can put these tabs on the nails and if you want to take them off to go and take aldo you just like pluck, pluck it off go take your aldo do your thing pray and then the sticky tabs help you just put them back on so you don't have to use glue Halal friendly and that. Then we have a candle, I think. And a Dr. Teal's sugar scrub. Quite a lot of bits. I might do a giveaway. I might do a Ramadan giveaway, you guys. Okay, if you're not subscribed, first of all, you better subscribe. Not a Ramadan giveaway, an Eid giveaway. I shall do a really nice, cute little box. Not little, like a cute box of lashes, makeup, skincare. And I shall do a, an Eid giveaway. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I will, I'll let you guys know what the like rules to enter are in a future video maybe in next week's video i had some of that you know that dessert that i showed you guys earlier i opened the brownie one look at how gooey and good that is this is the cookie dough brownie so good i'll see you guys in the morning okay guys we are making honeycomb today you guys know i'm not a fan of cheese honeycomb is an exception because there's like bread and then there's condensed milk in it so this is gonna be fun i'm gonna show you guys the recipe of how to do it guys these are all the ingredients that you'll need condensed milk cream cheese flour egg water milk sugar yeast and salt then melted butter and oil i've mixed it both inside this bowl together we're gonna start with three cups of flour into the bowl next we're gonna add the sugar yeast and salt into the flour the melted butter and oil I'm gonna I'm gonna use a mixer to do the dough, but you do the dough however you do the dough. So the dough is just gonna mix just like that. We're now gonna go in with the milk. Just gonna pour it in. The dough is ready, guys. I've just made it into a little bit of a bowl so that it rises to at least like double its size. Okay, guys, our dough is now raised, raised, risen, and it's ready. We're going to section it into like four different sections and then from each section make the tiny little balls. This is the tin that I'm going to use. I've also like already put some oil inside of it. So section this. <laughs> Don't ask me why I'm using a knife to do this, okay? <laughs> I'm now going to take my cream cheese and just cut it into little pieces so that it's quicker and easier for me to put it into the bowl. I'm trying to envision that this is like vanilla or something, you know, because just thinking about that it's cheese is making me nauseous. You basically just make the little bowl, make it like flat a little bit like that. Take a piece of your cream cheese, put it inside and then you cover it. Make sure to cover it properly and it becomes this cute little like ball and you can start putting it in and laying it into the tray. 
That's literally it. So just repeat for the rest, okay? When you finish all of the bowls, this is how it would look like in the tray. We're gonna put like egg wash on it and then pop it into the oven for it to bake. As iftar, it has been set. Like iftar is incomplete without viazi, badia, and some boast. We have the snacks over here with chutney on the side and fruit salad to start. Obviously dates there as well. Oh my goodness, Psalm today is killing me. Okay, so we've let the we've let the dough kind of like sit for another 30 minutes, I think. And now I've just whisked some egg, which I'm going to just spread it on top before we put it on the oven. I'm already preheating the oven as we speak so that this can go right in. The, the thing that makes this long is like letting it sit to rise twice. But other than that, I think it's just like such a quick thing to do. The honeycomb is now in the oven and the adhan is going off. So let's go break off. Guys, the honeycomb is ready. Look how beautifully it has baked. I'm now just gonna like drip all the condensed milk all over. So I think it's a lot. To the eye. Uh, we have the honeycomb that I made earlier. I'm so happy I've come back to a spotless clean kitchen. Did I show you guys my new um my new air fryer? This air fryer is amazing. It is linked on my TikTok shop if you guys are interested in getting it. It has two baskets and you can cook two things at the same time. You can either cook two things and set them to the same time and same temperature, or you can cook two separate things at different times, but sync them to finish at the same time. So convenient, oh my goodness. I'm gonna make myself some chai right now because I need to have some of that honeycomb with chai. I haven't had my chai for two days. Two days I haven't had chai. Like, who am I? I put it into the microwave for a few seconds. Just, just look at that. My tea is ready. I also just came back from Taraweh and it was so good, alhamdulillah. I've missed one day so far, but I didn't film the Taraweh because I'm just like, it's the same thing all the time. I filmed it for you all once. I think it's more than enough. <laughs> There's nothing new that's happening, you know what I mean? Mm -mm -mm. So good. Can you see I come